So you're coming to Nebraska. What the heck is in Nebraska? As an East Coast native, I can totally identify with the questions of, why are you in Nebraska? How did you get here? How did you end up moving here from New York? And here we are, coming to you today with the top five pros and cons of what you will love and what you might not love so much about Nebraska. Okay, pro number one. Um, if you have not heard of the Henry Dorley Zoo yet, what rock are you living under? If you love zoos, you have to see the Henry Dorley Zoo, like rated one of the top in the world. Um, and it's massive. Like when we take our kids there, it's like you can only see a portion of the zoo because you run out of time or everybody runs out of patience with everybody else. A family pass at the zoo, like we go twice and it's basically covered. So if you're moving to Nebraska, you can't pass it up. Like get here and then just go there. Don't even unpack your suitcases. Just go to the zoo. Just make them tired. They'll sleep better. You'll sleep better. It'll be better for everybody. Pro number two. Okay, um, commuting. Let me tell you what, if you're coming from a big city, you're in for a lovely surprise because commuting in Omaha, it, you can get like anywhere in basically 20, 25 minutes. Okay, you can go from like one end of the city, like suburbs over here, like all the way to the other side in 20, 25 minutes. But because, you know, Omaha is a pretty big city, but people are pretty spread out. So, we're not like living on top of each other. Also, can I add to that the simplicity of getting around? Coming from New York, where you're familiar with, you got First Avenue and the numbers go up. And then you have like 34th Street and the numbers go up or down depending which direction you go. I was so happy to come here and discover that it's the same. So you've got like kind of the middle, center, hello, does it get more simple than that? Going east to west, it's numbered. So keep it simple. Pro number three, fall. Anybody else a fall lover like me? All the things fall. Campfires, hoodies, like s'mores, camping, all the fall things. Every, oh my gosh, there are so many pumpkin badges today kids do. You could just do a different one every weekend. Just take them to Skinny Bones, take them to Vala's. And Vala's, if you have never heard of this or been to this place, which I think my husband was holding out in an effort to avoid taking the kids there. When I found out about this place, it's like the Disney world of pumpkin patches. The Disney world of pumpkin patches. It's a thing. You're gonna love it. Stuff for the kids, stuff for the grown-ups. There's food, like you can go apple picking. Now that's like a new thing. You can go and I think they've started like berries and like pick flowers and like take pictures there. And everybody, you, you gotta stop right by the main entrance. What does everybody do? You'll see everybody's profile picture change to what? Sitting in the rocking chair. Pro number four, here we go, sports. Now, I gotta admit, I'm not a sports ball person. But I love the community. Let me tell you what, I was a little bit weirded out the first time I came to Nebraska for a visit. And let me tell you, it was Saturday. Everybody was wearing red. And I was not at a football game. At the mall. At the mall. Everybody was wearing a red shirt or maybe even like also red sweatpants. It was crazy. But yeah, so I just love the community around it. Like if you love just kind of that community, like my family's like sports consist of the Super Bowl and maybe like the last two games of the World Series and occasionally the Olympics. So that's where I come from. <laughs> College World Series, 
um, Olympic swimming trials, Olympic curling trials are here in town. Um, so don't think that just because there's not a professional team here, they are hardcore about their sports. Pro number five, it's family oriented. Omaha is one of the top cities in the country for families to be in. There's just the schools and play and recreation and all the things to do to go as a family. It's here. I love it. I love it. You know, you can come for the nightlife, go to like Exarbon, go to Blackstone District, um, but for families, this is where it's at. So we love having our kids here. Uh, we love the school that they're at. Um, we love our church. We love all the things, all the things, family. In the summer, splash pads and libraries and kids programs at the libraries and things at the park and things downtown and egg hunts all over the place, every egg hunt, all the vacation Bible schools, all the things that you can, all the things, the kids. Can I have this? Can I have that? Ah, yeah, it's probably here. And I'll give you a bonus. Moved here from Minnesota. The bugs are a bonus because there's not very many of them. Coming from a girl allergic to mosquito bites. Moving from Minnesota. Mosquitoes are the state bird here. Loved it. It's like you could just be outside and enjoy being outside. All right, let's get to our cons list. I think I might hear crying upstairs. So we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> Thankfully, dad's holding down the fort. Okay, con number one. Potholes. Winter can get pretty fun here. We'll talk about that later. But the potholes. Gotta catch up with that. Pretty sure drove by the bank the other day. And at the edge of the parking lot, I thought I could see China. But yeah, so there's that. Con number two, property taxes. Yeah, I know on a real estate channel, it's like, why are you telling me that? But you're probably gonna wanna know that. It's one of the higher in the country, but I kind of think it's what plays into like, we've got awesome schools. We have so many different recreation programs and facilities and things that people can be involved in for free or like a fraction of the cost of going to like a privately run facility. So um, I definitely think there is some rationale to it. Your totals are gonna end up being less because you have a much smaller percentage on the cost of your home. So 2% of like a million in LA is still gonna be more than like 5% of 250,000. Not to mention cost of living. With comparable size cities, quite a bit lower here than other places. Number three, I said we would get to weather. Hmm, Nebraska, you get all the seasons. They can be pretty volatile. Is that a good word? Uh, super cold in winter. You can get like a dump of snow or you can get like no snow at all. So it just depends. Summer, you can get like super, super hot and not so hot. And I lived in Florida People complain about humidity here. I don't find it that humid, but people will tell you that they think it's humid here. Number four, allergies. Whoa, if you're allergic to things, they might have them here. How many different kinds of grass? Like corn fields and all kinds of other fields. It's pretty crazy, so Re-up on your allergy medications and pack your tissues. Get ready. <laughs> Con number five, last but not least, geography. Having lived in North Carolina, New York, Florida, California, there's not a whole lot going on here as far as geographical oddities. However, if you'd like to go see Chimney Rock, we have that. Can't really climb it. 
can't camp on it, can't go swimming in it like the ocean, but it's here. And if you need to hop on a plane, you're in the middle of everywhere. Thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. That being said, lots of flat places and lots of corn. They don't call them the corn huskers for no reason. There's corn everywhere. And when it's windy in the fall, you get like corn husks in your driveway. I don't live on a farm and I'm like half a mile from a farm. And at the same time, I'm thankful for the flat because without it, we have just the most amazing sunrises and sunsets. And you won't be able to appreciate them if there was like mountains and like tall buildings and stuff everywhere all the time. So love it. Make sure to click the subscribe button to join me every week. I'll be here. We'll post a video every Sunday evening and I'm looking forward to sharing more information, both about the Omaha area and also about real estate. If you're looking to move to the area, I'd love to help you out. My information is down below in the description and I hope to hear from you soon.